Hey what's up Shubro and you're watching Computer Edu 101 and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your Raspberry Pi, how to turn the Raspberry Pi into your torrenting machine. A machine, a headless server which you can run in the background for downloading all your torrents 24-7 because as you can see Raspberry Pi is a kind of device that does not suck up a lot of power so you can use it for downloading a torrent 24-7 because it's not going to use much of power so let's go ahead and show you how to do that the first thing that you need to do is to connect to your Raspberry Pi using a SSH connection then pop in your username then your password which should be by default um, Raspberry but in my case it's different because I have changed it during um, login oh come on I'm making mistakes constantly okay yeah now I logged in the there are only one command that you need to do which will install the required stuff that is sudo apt sudo apt get install deluge and deluge d the you need to write this code in the terminal and then press enter I'm not going to do that because I have already installed it in my computer so let's go ahead and uh, go to uh, let's go ahead and go to your Raspberry Pi open up your file system and when you open up your file system you get to see something you go to this folder called Pi and in the view you click show hidden folders in the show hidden stuff go to the dot config folder go to deluge and there is a auth file open it up with leafpad which is basically a text editor after opening it up this line should be present by default but you need to provide this here you need to provide a username for logging in into your deluge client using the deluge daemon that we have installed while installing deluge d uh, in my case the username is pi the password is 12527890 please don't hijack my computer and 10 well 10 is the administrative level of rights that you're providing to the specific user if you make it 5 it will only provide you a um, little bit of like read and write uh, access and if you make it one it will only provide read-only access so go ahead and save this thing save this file and after it's saved close it and after you closed it open up the deluge uh, deluge client software and go to edit come on go to okay I'm going to show I'm not going to show you uh, go to edit then go to preferences interface here it should be made classic mode enabled disable that and then apply it after applying it when you open it up come on something's wrong with this <laughs> after opening that after disabling the connection man uh, the classic view it should show you something like this connection manager make uh, you, you select this and click start daemon when you do that it starts up the daemon okay and when it starts the daemon you just close it and after you close it install a deluge client into your windows machine or your mac machine and then you also disable classic mode into this thing and when this opens up when this opens up you need to add a new connection where you need to provide the internal IP of your 
Raspberry Pi, which you should be able to find out by uh, using if config command in the terminal, which is something like this. Come on, terminal, just open up. Okay, I know my internal IP, 192.168.0.102. Then provide the username that you have saved in the auth file, that is pi, and then your password. And then I have already added it. So let's go ahead and start it. And when you start it, voila. Wha whenever you add a torrent in this, f in this client, it actually gets downloaded into your Raspberry Pi. You do not need to keep this open. You can just close it and shut down your computer, but your file is going to be downloaded into the Raspberry Pi and it will be ready when you wake up. So that's how you create your headless uh, torrents downloading server. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have liked this tutorial. If you do, please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Uh, my download is, speed is pretty good. And if you have any kind of questions, if you're facing any kind of problem, don't forget to post them in, my, in the comment section down below. And uh, before I end this video, I need to tell you something. If you do not install the daemon and if you do not do all these kind of things, you can just install Deluge Client into the Raspberry Pi and start using it from right there. But if you're starting the Deluge Client by using remote connection like me, like here, it will get shut down after 1 to 30 minutes. I don't know why uh, after 1 hour so, uh, at a difference of 30 to 1 hour. That means uh, when, you, when you're starting the deluge client and you start downloading it, downloading your file, uh, after, one, after 30 minutes to 1 hour, the deluge client will automatically, automatically just, just close. Because, I don't know, it's something, it has something to do with the session of the remote desktop connection. So for that problem, this is the way. Install the deluge daemon, then install the deluge client and start the daemon over there. Connect your client to the daemon and start using it like that. Um, I hope the entire tutorial has been helpful to you guys. Just give a thumbs up and thank you for watching it.